Hi fellow artists, my name is Lauren, I am the artist behind Potato Art Studios, and in today's video I'll be unboxing my pastel order from Jackson's Art Supply. So if you're interested in seeing what I ordered and the condition of my items as they traveled from Europe to California in the United States, just keep on watching. If you haven't seen my past playlist of my unboxing videos, I have filmed several other orders where I have unbo unboxed uh, larger parcels than this and smaller parcels than this from Jackson's Art Supply, so I will link those up in the cards and also down below in the description box if you'd like to watch that after this video. Uh, but we're just going to get right into opening up the box. So this box was shipped via DHL Express um, because I was able to meet the minimum amount for the order to qualify for the Express shipping. And DHL does a pretty good job. I have had one order in the past from Jackson's delivered via DHL. There is a packing slip on this side. So that's the front corners. I'm going to flip it over and you can see the bottom side of the box. So this is the bottom of the box and there is a slight tear um, but nothing too major. It was going to rain this week in California so I'm glad this box was delivered before the rain came. Um, so we're going to flip it over and I'll be opening the box up. If you have never placed an order with Jackson's Art Supply before, they typically will tape all the edges of their boxes with the official Jackson's tape, so you'll know if it was tampered or opened with for customs or anything like that. And this box wasn't opened for inspection, so that's how I know because the tape is intact on all the sides. I'll be cutting open the box and just fast forwarding it a little bit so you're not watching me struggle for a few minutes. So this is the first thing I see when I open up the box. There's this fair amount of packing material. So because I ordered pastels, it's good that they have void fill so my boxes of pastels aren't rustling around during transit because that increases the likelihood that they would break. So I'm glad to see a lot of packing material. So I'm going to take this out of the way. With my order, um, I just wanted to try a few smaller sheets of paper. So I ordered a few sample packs of Canson's watercolor paper. So they just bundled the samples together in this little bag. And they folded the edge over and taped it so it's nice and secure. They also have some bubble wrap on the sides, which is really nice. And so the pastels are in the lower left-hand corner area, and they have more void fill on the top and right edge. So that's a good sign. So I will be unboxing each box one at a time, and we'll be fast-forwarding through that as well. All right, so hopefully that unboxing was successful. It was hard to tell if the camera was in focus from the viewfinder, um, but these are the five sets that I ordered from Jackson's. And the reason why I kind of splurged on two of these sets was because there was a 25% off sale on Schmincke and Unison. And these pastels typically 
don't ever go on sale. So when I saw that there was a sale, I immediately jumped on, on board and added the items to my cart and checked out within 24 hours of the sale going up because I was worried that there potentially could go out of stock because the price was very, very good. So if you are not familiar with soft pastels or pastels in general, um, some of the European brands tend to be very pricey. And to give you an idea of the prices I'm talking about, for a full stick, which is typically a stick this big, so about three, well, so about a stick that's four inches long, one stick of one color of a soft pastel will cost anywhere from five to eight dollars. Depending on the brand, it can go upwards from there. And Schmenka and Unison are two of the higher end brands that I was very interested in trying. So I signed up for Jackson's email list and you can do that as well. I would highly recommend it because you'll get a notification whenever they have their routine sales. So Schmenke is a German brand, I believe, and their half stick set, I wanted to get a good amount. So I have the 80 half stick set here. They also have a larger set than this, which I believe is the 120 set, um, but I thought the 80 set would be perfect for me. For the unison color set, I was really interested in a similar set from a brand called Terry Ludwig, but their sets are about three times as expensive as Unison. So when I found out Unison had a dark set and it was very similar to the set I was interested in ordering from Terry Ludwig, I decided to just go with the Unison because I've every person who's ever talked about Unison says that it's a very very good brand. So we have Unison made in England, Schmenka made in Germany. Um, this box right here, which <laughs> might look a little weird, is actually Jackson's, their house brand of soft pastels, and their soft pastels are fairly good quality. Most of them are light fast and. Their prices are just, their regular prices are actually pretty good. So the Jackson's Pastel, the Credit Color, and the Dollar and Rowney were not on sale, but since I was making the order, I added the three smaller sets just to bump up my order to get the DHL Express shipping. So we're going to unbox each set one at a time and see if any of them arrived broken and as a general guideline it's fine if pastels break um, you can still use them but it's only a problem if they shatter into really really small pieces then it's hard to use so if a soft pastel stick breaks in half or breaks into quarters that's perfectly fine you can still use it but if it turns into powder because it's been basically destroyed during transit, that's when we have an issue and I would probably have to report something to customer service. Um, but let's start with the biggest one first, so Schmenka, and let's get into it. This box is pretty sturdy, um, and there is the box is just cardboard. It's nothing fancy, but it is a pretty sturdy cardboard. You can see that the top layer is your standard um, black foam. So let's pull this sheet off very carefully, and these are the colors. So my lights are a little bright, so it's washing out some of the colors, but hopefully as I'm hovering over it, you can see the true colors of it a little bit better. But these colors are beautiful, and it looks like they all arrived intact. There are a few little chips and pieces, but that's not really anything to worry about. 
but it looks like they all arrived safely. So this was the order that I was most concerned about because I knew this box would be fairly large and whenever you have larger boxes there's always a higher chance of damage. So since this was the largest set I was ordering, this was the most important thing I was worried about receiving damage. But it looks like it arrived perfect. So let's put the foam back. And if you'd like to see me do a review on a brand specific pastel, definitely leave a comment. The set I was next most excited about is the Unison. So this is the dark 1 through 18 set. And this is a full stick set. So let's see the Unison. So again, cardboard box, foam insert on the top. And these, there we go. So these are the colors. And I do have several dark colors in my current collection, but I am lacking a lot of dark greens and some medium to deep value browns. So this is a very good set to flesh out my current set that I have. Um, so I'm really interested in using this top row and potentially some of these blues. So these look very nice. And I will be making color charts. So if you'd like to see um, how I make color charts, I can film a video about that as well. So let's put the foam insert back. Next set is the Dealer and Rowney. I might be pronouncing that incorrectly. I am having some struggles. Alright, so this also, so this set So these two sets are hard pastels, and I didn't realize I needed hard pastels until I was doing larger drawings, and hard pastels are a great way to get some very nice textures over soft pastels. So I decided to get a warm set and a cool set, cool gray set, so hopefully this will be really good as I'm trying to do more uh, landscape pieces in the future. So let's put this back. So this gray selection, there's 12 square pastels. Again, foam insert. You have a little card. And these all look really good. They're not broken. You can see that I have a few warm grays and the rest is cool grays from so these three are warm grays and the rest are cool grays, which is perfect. And they all look really good. The box for this is not as well made as the Unison and Schmenka, but this is also a more affordable brand, so I'm not too disappointed. It did arrive safely, even though there is, as you can see, there is a bit of a gap between where the pastels sit and the top edge of the box. So I'm going to slip the sleeve back on and put this on the side. So credit color, I have oil pastels in credit color, but I've never ordered their soft pastels. So credit color, because of that window, there's just a half foam insert on top and all of the credit color sticks are also intact. So that's great. some sort of pamphlet. That's a credit color set. And the last set is a set of 14 gray pastels from Jackson's house brand, I believe. So when you order uh, Jackson's soft pastels, so it has a Jackson's brand on it, 
um, you can buy these boxes separate if you'd like to just buy um, these thin boxes for your full stick pastels or if you buy their sets it's basically like purchasing the individual pastels and they pack it for you really nicely so it's a cardboard just a cardboard box comes with the foam insert on top and these are the grays this is the gray set and you can see they're all labeled warm gray, cool gray. And this was the set I had wanted for quite a while, but um, I missed their sale for So Jackson's did have a sale on their house brand art supplies, and I happened to miss it. So I just decided to just buy it while I was purchasing the Schmincke and Unison because I knew I, I wanted to get this set um, months ago. So these, it's hard to tell if they're shattered or not um, because of the paper wrapper. I think when I last unwrapped my previous set, I did have one that was broken in half, but everything else was pretty much intact. So I'm sure the same thing will be for this one where they're on more of the firm end rather than soft end, but they are very good and very high quality, high pigment. And I do enjoy using these. So if you are looking for an affordable way to supplement your soft pastel collection, I would recommend Jackson's. Um, I believe they're priced at about $3 US dollars a full stick. So that is a very good price compared to other brands. So on the screen here, I will have a price breakdown of cost of what I paid and compare it to Jackson's retail price and the U.S. retail price. And you'll notice that there is a bit of a price difference for the retail prices of Jackson's website and the U.S. websites like Blick and Jerry's Artorama. And I believe that's just because the U.S. art supply stores do have to import these European-made art supplies, so that is probably why the retail price in the U.S. is higher. But what that means is that when you purchase something on sale in a European art supply store, chances are the European sale price is going to be much better than any sale price that will be available in the U.S. So, again, I do recommend to sign up for Jackson's Art Supply. Um, this is the fourth order I have placed with Jackson's so far, and I have been fairly pleased with their packing and service, and you saw how each set, with the exception of the two smaller sets, were packaged together, but the other sets were individually wrapped in cardboard and then wrapped inside of that with bubble wrap. So it was cushioned in two different ways and also the box was sufficiently packaged with void fill so the items were not bouncing around during transit from Europe. So if you have any questions about ordering from Jackson's, let me know. So one thing I do want to mention is that there usually will be a processing fee. So if you are ordering or placing a credit card order outside of where you live, so I live in the United States and I ordered something from a United Kingdom based store, so I was charged a 1% foreign transaction fee. Um, but that is that may or may not apply to you depending on the type of credit card you have. I know some credit cards do have 0% foreign transaction fees or it might be higher depending on what kind of card you have. So you do want to make sure that you are not going to get surprised by the transaction fee. Also another thing to note is that there may or may not be customs charges. Um, so far in the purchases I've made from Jackson's, none of my orders have been flagged for customs. But if you do, for whatever reason, there may be additional charges to your order so that Customs will release your package for delivery. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. 
So again, these are my pastel sets that I ordered. I am really excited. I'm going to make a lot of art with this stuff. Um, so if you're not following me on social media, I will have my Instagram on the screen here and you can give me a follow if you'd like to see what I'm up to. I do post at least five times a week so you can see exactly what's on my drawing board that I'm currently working on. If you'd like to see the other Jackson's art supply haul videos, I will also have that link down below in the description box. If you have any questions for me for placing international orders or just in general about art supplies and finding the best value for your money, um, I will do my best to answer your questions if you have any. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.